Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video where today we continue our quest to reach the epitome of iRacing skill, the fabled 10k iRacing. However, as I'm sadly not the fastest person in the world, my goal is to achieve 10,000 iRating across all four divisions combined. We are currently at this iRacing level, and can we continue to move closer to our goal? Let's do this thing. Here we are then, ladies and gentlemen, back with episode two. This time around, I've decided to head to the ovals. We're racing at iRacing Super Speedway, which is a three-mile oval uh, and we are in the trucks today hopefully we can try and bring our i rating up a little bit 25 laps ahead of us so going to be about a 20 minute race and it is a very very staggered start then between some runners at the front of the field i mean yeah it's 25 laps on a super speedway that you certainly don't have to break for uh, pretty much under any circumstances it's basically talladega on steroids um, so yeah, it's going to be quite interesting today and speeds are going to be well in excess of 200 miles an hour as well, of course. So yeah, fine margins. Of course, you can already see approaching 250 miles an hour. I believe I've only ever done one race on iRacing Super Speedway before. I believe it might have in fact been in the trucks and if I remember correctly, oh, I didn't go too well there as you can just see that curb going to be three wide, as people clearly want to make moves, um, and they're going to wreck each other immediately. Well done, people. Oh, I didn't realize... Didn't know cautions were enabled in this, I'll be honest, but those two are morons. Way too aggressive on lap one. Um, but I guess we'll, we'll come back after the caution then? Well, effectively now then, this race has been cut from 25 to just 20 laps, but yeah, I don't really quite know what those two were thinking on the opening lap. But there's no fast repair in this, so they have completely screwed themselves. Um, but about to go green flag racing once again then here from iRacing Super Speedway. And I just want to be there with two laps to go. That's kind of the goal, of course. It doesn't really matter what happens up to that point as long as you're still with the lead group. So instantly you can see drivers going three wide. So we make our way back down in towards turn one. Oh, an aggressive defence by the red, white, and green car just in front. We did pick up one spot then off of the restart. But yeah, let's just build up the speed once more. Pray that we can get a bit of a run now without a caution, which would be nice. Would like to get a few flying laps under my belt. Um, as, yeah, just dropping ever so slightly away from the cars in front. But 220, whoa, five miles an hour there by the end of the back straight. The corner kind of drags you in a bit, as we're going to see some cars behind close in. Everyone now, I think, being a bit more measured. But yeah, the camber kind of drags you into an early apex. It kind of means you hit the apron just before you get the car tipped in, ready for the corner. But now we are racing properly. Got a clean lap under our belts, which is always good. And I think, to be honest, being sat here is not a bad place to be at the moment. You can watch the aggression at the front of the field unfold and hopefully we're far enough back that we could avoid it there as that is 230 miles an hour in a truck. iRacing Super Speedway is absolutely mental. If you're racing Cup Series or something like that here, I think speeds are up around the 250 mile an hour mark or 400 kilometers an hour um, for those of you of course that aren't like myself or Logan Sargent and know what a kilometre is, but I love the Penzo delivery. That thing looks awesome on the outside. Um, but yeah, we're just floating outside the top ten at the moment. Don't know whether this guy's just a little bit hesitant on the inside, but of course we don't want to disconnect from that top group. Don't really know how good pushing is going to be as well in these cars, but I don't think I want to risk it too early on in the day. Kind of got a gaggle of four of us that are losing a bit of time to the trucks in front. Don't think we're still under there. any major concern, though. So, yeah, we're definitely still hanging on with that train. Might try and get around Prada, to be honest. I know it's still very early doors. That 70... Oh, it's a Ferrari livery. That is very cursed on a truck. 
we're not going to like. Try and get back down behind him though. Yeah, that is a very, very cursed livery. But yeah, just starting to get a little bit nervous there that we might have been detaching from this front group. And if we want to try and stay with them as best as possible here as... Again, we'll get to the outside of the Ferrari. I can't believe I'm calling it that. Um, but, yeah, just not quite... You know, the high side here doesn't really work particularly well. I was saying that, we've got to run that time round. So we'll try and see what we can do with it. As I believe, again, the Pennzoil car is going to try and make moves down the middle. I'm just going to try and sit with this high line, but... Yeah, of course... Truck racing is all very, very fine margins. All it takes is someone to drift up in towards you. And your whole afternoon can be ruined. But, yeah, this is not a bad spot for truck spotting at the moment. This guy there just wants to merge up with the high side. Looks like we've actually got a lot of numbers behind us up here. And so we might be able to try and get through. Whoa! Oh, how have we all survived that? That was scary. I thought the blue and black truck then, or trucks, were going to absolutely face the netcode wrath. So we'll let this guy have the inside, I think, back inside. down. Carrying a lot of speed behind him. We'll try and slot in behind. Well, you can just see, though, into the corner. Sometimes you've got to blend the throttle slightly. This is scary stuff at the moment. Finer margins than any... It's, it's really odd racing on iRacing Super Speedway. Because it feels like even if you've done a little bit of oval racing like I have, it still feels alien here. Everything you feel you've learned doesn't quite work the way you'd hope it to. And that is rather scary. As you just hear an engine get very, very loud when you're inside. You just don't quite know how much that car has drifted up. Oh, we got a slow car as well. I hope they move. guy in front of me is struggling a little bit in the corners. Could move back down to the inside. Ah, oh, luckily it looks like that truck is trying to stay high and out of the way, which is nice. So we're all going to come flying past him. There he is. I mean, surely he'll be wanting to try and latch onto this group and a big blend of throttle there. So, oh, I think just got a little bit too close for comfort. The 21, I think, has compromised himself. Still got some speed, but... It was not exactly where he wanted to be, I'm sure. But yeah, this is all about just winding yourself, being there even, ready for the final two laps of the race. Just keep it out of trouble, keep it clean. There's a small gap opening up both in front and behind me. If we can hang with these top runners, this might be a chance to disconnect from the cars behind. But I think Baptiste there might just have enough to keep the gaps close. Although, that being said, though, Justin and Kevin are dropping back further and further. Oh, no. There you go. Another safety car. We will make it through. I don't think... Oh, no, they're still wrecking behind. One of them's gone in the wall. That's a big hit. Um, yeah, that. I think that might be a very, very nasty hit for them. But it is some freebies for us. It feels like we've had competition cautions then so far this race, but after a couple of cars pit for whatever reason, maybe they picked up a little bit of damage. We're now running up in P5, ready for another restart. However, I can't help but feel this might not be the last one today. But yeah, hopefully we can try and just stay somewhere near the front. Let's see when our leader goes. There we go. Oh, a little bit of a wobble to the back end. Gotta try and put the power down. And I think David's going to get a slightly better launch than I am. Back down in towards turn one. Hopefully we can try and stay down the inside though, which we will. I don't think he's going to have nowhere to go down in towards that first corner. The slipstream's still so, so powerful. But yeah, I'm not really sure what we need to do here. I think, to be honest, it's just going to be worth hanging in. You know, staying in the draft, not causing too many upsets. Don't make any enemies at this stage of the afternoon. Let's see what we can do, you know, try and get to those final couple of laps of the day. But, yeah, the last track being at the front kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Hopefully it won't happen again. That's surely 
a goal at the moment. With less than 10 to go. I've been relying on Larry up to this point. Larry, I'm hoping you can drag me to glory. So again, you just get just too close to that uh, apron down at turn one. Or at turn three, and it kind of just drags you in and unsettles the cart. I, I don't know what the banking is around here, but it's got to be... 50, 60 degrees, it's ridiculous. As uh, David behind, just ums and ahs, I think, about giving us a bump draft there, but we'll think better of it. Don't th I don't really know whether you can in the trucks. So I know you, obviously you can in Arca, but Xfinity is pretty decent for it. You just don't know what's going to happen later on in the day, and of course you don't really want to risk dumping someone and potentially yourself in the process. So I'm just trying to hang here as best as possible. Lap 18 to 25. If ideally, I just want to try and get to the last lap without another caution and kind of work our way from there. But I'm sure there's a lot of drivers a bit further back that are going to try and work their way back through. So we've got to be careful of them. Speaking of, you can just see a lane all forming on the outside. Again, nudging that apron, but again, everyone behind seems to lose a little bit out of the, or into the corners, and then I kind of get a little bit of operating room to draft back up to the front runners again. Looks quite nicely for us. 370 kilometres an hour as someone heading back out of the pit lane. It's oh, ridiculous speeds even for a car or a truck that's designed to go at ridiculous speeds around a big circle. iRacing Super Speedway just mm, turns that up to 11. So it always worries me when the guy behind you is down on or over the apron. You just never quite know what kind of things they'll do. There's definitely a line on the high side forming. Not sure I want to work with it though. Yeah, there we go, he's slotted back in behind me. And immediately he's going to go back out there. Give it a go, number one. Oh, see what you can do. Still there. That last lap was at 47.5. Still there. Whoa. Still there. Just that understeer. Still there. As you try and tip the truck in. Still there. This guy that was really Still trying to there. pin me. Gives the number nine, giving him a big old push. I'd be happy if they got ahead of me, to be honest. That way we got the joy of picking a lane, but it's not quite going to work out, I don't think. Hopefully the nine isn't going to come down. Five laps to go. Things are starting to get racy. Oh, that nine is giving the one a big old push. focus now. It's getting fine margins. Yeah, we're not in a bad seat at the moment though. We can watch all these guys going at it. Kind of pick a lane and go from there. I think I'm going to get forced back down to... The oh! oh, oh. Holy moly. The number one there just swung in. Oh, I was really hoping the 15 wouldn't do that. Made sense for him, but I was hoping he wouldn't. Larry as well. He's just starting to lose a bit. Big, big push. Outside. Clear high. Good win. Just down the lead. Car outside. He's still there. Come on, three laps to go. Oh, this is getting scary. I miss this, man. I miss doing more oval racing on iRacing, but this is part of what this series is about. Still there. 
I was trying to get back into more of this kind of thing as well. Testing my boundaries in something that isn't just the road. Oh, the high side now. In a bit of trouble. No, oh, they're still getting help. I think everyone's just hoping we can get to the final lap now. Portion now would really ruin the momentum. Oh, -ho. rattles the steering through your arms. I think I'll give it a big opportunity for those cars on the high side to slot back in if they want it. Yep, and the three's going to take it. He's going to decide that's not where he wants to be. I'm starting to get that vibe as well. Still there. Larry, I'm still, still there. preying on you, my friend. Still there. But I'm sure, yeah, once the final lap still comes there. out, it's going to just become... Still there. Well, no, it won't, of course, because the caution can still get still called out. But, uh, <sighs> That's a big push and not a very good one. Still there. Bumps me at a really still awkward there. angle. Hold your line. Still got a good run, though. Still there. Oh, no, where well, we can go with it, though. Paul's going to get to the outside. Still there. Clear high. Tenth position. One more lap to go. That lap was at 47.5. Don't know where to be at the moment. Things are going to get messy. I'm expecting a wreck on this final lap. I'll be staggered if we all keep it clean. There's a slow car as well at the row, but I don't know if they're going to have much of an effect. <sighs> oh, I gave the 12, I think that was a big push and it was not at the right place. Oh, we're going to be in big trouble up towards the line. Is there going to be a wreck around us? No, it's not. It's going to be clean running to the flag. We're going to lose a handful of places though right at the end. Really did not time that run where I needed it. P12 in the end. I lost I rating <laughs> in all of that. I ended up losing I rating right at the very end. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at our incident report from those couple of crashes uh, and, of course, our final race results. I think he basically quit as well as soon as it happened, just all f forward, but goes around the outside of myself. That was fairly clean. We almost run up wide into him and then just comes down on the 13 and I think by this point knows he's in trouble and, yeah, he's going to leave the race. Having a look then at this incident up towards the front. I think it was just a bit a messy bump in there, and the Pennzoil car is going to come up high, tag the 11, and I think, honestly, looking at that, it was probably the Pennzoil's car's fault, and he got away with it completely scot-free. Taking a look then at our final race result, and just a tiny loss on by both sides of the iRacing platform then. Minus 0.5 on the SR, minus 13 I rating. So far, every race I've done on this series, I've gone and lost I rating so far. So we're not in a particularly good shape, but we will be back. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure I leave a like, get yourself subscribed. I've got no idea what I'm going to be racing next, but hopefully we can have some fun with it. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full-time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my Patreon. There's a link down in the description.